six meetings with Toronto. Oh, here we go again. Here's Semenko and Basil McRae. And Dave's going to have to chase it because Bass doesn't want to leave the game. <laughs> Now McCray's having words with Brophy. Oh, look out, the coach wants at him. Well, folks, hang on. <laughs> Brophy wanted a piece of McCray. And now he and Herb... Where is Herb Brooks here right now? He only fights with Jacques Demers. <laughs> That's why I was looking for him. Semenko's in the penalty box, and look, he wants to get back out of it. See, McCray didn't want to go with him. I think he knows he's out of the game. If right, exactly. Their time. Oh, there they go, though. Semenko's got to be gone now. That's a suspension. He's come out of the penalty box to fight. No question about it. And it's going to be a pretty wasted maneuver as well. You can see the two linesmen in there, and the linesmen a little bit better protected in this day and age, wearing helmets. You can see Civic, who's a big man. He was taking some blows in the back of his helmet, I think, from McCray, but he just grazed off. But it would hurt McCray's knuckles more than it's going to hurt Civic's head. McCray, as he leaves the ice, has got words, and I don't believe it's for any other leaf except Coach John Brophy. He's calling for Brophy now. No question. And Brophy calls for you. <laughs> well, McRae is pointing to Brophy. This looks like World Federation wrestling out here. We've got McRae. He's pointing his finger. He's going to get him. And it's not any player on the ice, but John Brophy that he wants. Meanwhile, Dave Semenko is sitting in the penalty box. It's a little cool and calm right now. Semenko's not going to get a major, though. I mean, he's only going to get the game misconduct. He left well, the that's what he pitch. should have. Sure, he's got to get but a game But initially, he sure. should only have had two minutes, most likely. Was he actually in the penalty box? He was definitely he's in standing the penalty inside box. it. Yeah, well, if he's in it, it's a game misconduct. And but it's he's a minor penalty there. plus a game misconduct. But he's not going to be sitting in the penalty box long if that is, in fact, what Don Kohorski has ruled. Semenko should be gone. Someone else should be gone. I recognize that name, Brother Joe's an assistant coach with the St. Louis Blues and a former player. And here's a fight. Dave Semenko on the ice and Basil McCray. Oh, surprised that they get it. Well, the two tough guys, they might as well get their job with out of the way early in this game. Semenko, you can see, he's kind of laughing a little bit there at McCray. one thing in the National Hockey League. The tough guys usually fight the tough guys. So they cancel each other out. He is getting a good hold on the other guy so he can't get his arm free. And uh, these guys get to be experts at that. What do you know about fighting, Roger? Just can't get free. It's a shame. <laughs> I don't know why they don't <laughs> jump in there and break it up quickly. Oh, they're really okay. delaying the game. Well, they've been in a clinch that Mean Gene might like, but it hasn't been much of a scrap. <laughs> and this game's had a pretty good pace until right now. We'll usher those two off to the penalty box and take a short break and come back. Here are the North Stars in the lead scoreless on this Molson Hockey Telecast. McCray's penalties were over because they looked like they tried to get at each other as they came out of the penalty box and now they're lined up for a face-off so stand by for round two. 
And they really didn't fight the first time. It was just a wrestling match, as you pointed out. And Sammy, Dave Semenko, has that little smile on his face as if it's time to do it again. So we'll keep an eye on it. Basil's only sixth in the league in penalty minutes, and maybe he's trying to move up. Look how they're lined up against each other here. It's almost as if Semenko's down like a bull-like fashion, ready to charge McCray. It's the first time I've ever seen linesmen escort guys onto the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the last game they played in here in January, McCray jumped Wendell Clark, and nobody came in to bail out Clark. Maybe the message has got through a few games later. Here they go. Oh, here they go again. Kaharski, with all of his whistles out there, sounded like a New York traffic cop. Basil's going for the body. They'll give him another five minutes, and when they come back, they can do it again, and that'll be it for the night. Uh-oh. We finished with it. Semenko wrestled him to the ice, and he declares himself the winner. 10.01 is the time of round two. McCray said, you didn't get my helmet off this time. <laughs> well, you can hear a little bit of the jibber-jabbering still going on. And four stars number 17, Basil McCray. Major penalties each for fighting. Well, McGray's still going at it. Watch the lineup again. Now, did they have any intentions of worrying about who won the faceoff, where the puck was going? No way. I mean, they just wanted at each other right off the bat. Decent of them to wait.